Percutaneous disc nucleoplasty is used to relieve certain types of disc-related back pain. Intervertebral discs are cushions located between the series of bones called vertebrae, which make up the spine. The discs act as a shock absorber between the bones while providing stability and allowing movement. The discs are made out of strong connective tissue. The tough outer layer is called the annulus fibrosus. The center of each disc is cushion-like because it is gel-like. With age, discs lose water content and become more narrow, less flexible, and less effective as cushion between the vertebrae. As the disc deteriorates, the outer layer can bulge, weaken, or tear, causing pain. Disc problems can cause neck or back pain, burning or tingling sensations, numbness, weakness, or shooting pain. Depending on the location of the disc in the spine, your symptoms may spread to your arms or legs. There are many methods of treating disc pain, and percutaneous disc nucleoplasty is used for discs that have bulged but have not ruptured. Percutaneous disc nucleoplasty is an outpatient minimally invasive procedure. You will be positioned lying face down. You may receive a relaxing medication prior to your procedure. Your skin will be sterilized and numbed with an anesthetic. To begin, your doctor will use a live x-ray to guide a thin light tube cannula to the bulging disc. Next, a narrow radio frequency device is inserted through the cannula. The device transmits radio waves that dissolve small areas around the center of the disc. In turn, this creates space for the nucleus contents to spread into reducing painful pressure in the disc and decreasing the disc bulge. When the procedure is complete, the cannula and radio frequency device are removed. Because only tiny incisions are used, there are no stitches and the insertion point is simply covered with a small bandage. You should have another person drive you home. Most people need about a day of bed rest. Physical therapy typically follows the procedure. Recovery from percutaneous disc nucleoplasty is individualized.